and welcome to Ed Foodie. Today we're going to make something uh, pretty quick and it's actually from a recipe that I made a few weeks ago. I did a uh, roasted cauliflower with a miso sauce on it and I love this sauce so well that I'm going to convert a little bit. The recipe is just about the same thing but I'm going to call this a mock cream gravy and it's a really low carb keto friendly and I'm just going to put it on mashed potatoes today, which is not so keto friendly, but um, I think this would really be good to replace things like for black uh, biscuits and gravy instead of, instead of the cream gravy with all the flour and the fat milk and uh, bacon grease, whatever else you would, would put into your uh, cream gravy. Or for chicken fried steak, uh, this is a great replacement, very low carb and just packed full of flavor. I just was so impressed with the flavor of this stuff. So um, let's do this real quick. All right, like I said, this is a pretty easy recipe. I've got three tablespoons of oil heated up in a pan. I'm going to add to that oil two roughly chopped shallots. I don't know what it is about shallots that uh, they're just such a different taste in onion to me. Huh? I really like the flavor. I've got two, again, roughly chopped cloves of garlic. I'm sorry, that was three cloves of gar gar garlic. And I've got one roughly chopped jalapeno that's been seeded. All right, we're just gonna stir this around till the garlic and the shallots are really nice, soft tender and maybe turning just a little bit brown so just you know two three minutes it's okay that these are very roughly chopped and not uniform in size because we're going to end up putting this in a blender and basically making a liquid out of all this my onions and garlic are starting to turn a little brown and they're soft so we're just going to turn the burner off we're just going to let these sit here until they cool off a little bit Maybe let them sit there for about five minutes. I have a uh, 16 ounce package of silken tofu. If you can't find the silken tofu, soft tofu is about the same thing. And I'm gonna use about six ounces of this. Here's my six ounces of tofu. I'm gonna add them to a blender cup. To my six ounces of tofu, I'm going to add one big tablespoon of miso. What I'm using is an organic reduced sodium miso, and believe me, this is still very salty. Now we can add our cooled off vegetables that we fried. So in this, we're going to add the, everything that's in here, though, because it's, there's a lot of oil still in here. We're going to add the oil as well. So if you do it like this, it comes out pretty thick, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna make this just a little bit more liquidy, so it's more like a, we want it like a thick gravy. So you can add, I'm gonna add just some uh, fat-free milk. You can add vegetable broth if you want to. If you're making this gravy for uh, a chicken or a turkey, you could add uh, some chicken broth. Now I'm not going to do too much, maybe a, let's start with a, maybe a tablespoon. All right, we'll put this in the blender and if we need to, we can add a little bit more milk to it later. And that's it. We're going to pour this now into a small saucepan. Yeah, that pours out pretty good. All right, so we're just going to put this on, uh, on the low burner and just warm it up a little bit while the waiting for the potatoes to finish. Got my mashed potatoes already. Got my gravy warmed up and I'm just gonna spoon a nice generous portion in the little hole I made in my mashed potatoes. Now what we can do to make it look more like the uh, cream gravy. Put some nice generous amount of fresh ground black pepper in there. 
All right, let's give this a taste. I love mashed potatoes, but they don't like me. They, those carbs get to my tummy. Oh, wow, man. This gravy is so smooth and jalapeno just gives it a little touch of heat. I think it's the miso and the shallots that really give it this just wonderful flavor. Mm. <clears throat> Great low carb, keto friendly, white cream gravy for, this stuff is really good on rice as well. Rice, potatoes, on your chicken, turkey, uh, chicken fried chicken, chicken fried steak. Uh, you could put this, use it as a sauce to put it on top of uh, Eggs Benedict in the morning or on a poached egg sitting on an English muffin. It'd be great. Uh, biscuits and gravy, use this for your gravy. Lots of uses for this. I hope you like this. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Ed Foodie right over there. And thank you so much for watching.